Here's a game licensed by Atari. A fan favorite of you guys, I'm pretty sure. Welcome to Asterix and Obelix Double XL 2 Mission Y Fix. Now, this game is uh, the remake of basically, well, the sequel to Asterix and Obelix Double XL for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, it's it's all right. It's it's okay. I think the Game Boy Advance version definitely plays better. It doesn't look better, but it plays better. Um, so if you're a really big fan of Asterix and Obelix and uh, the 3D versions of them, at least, um, you're better off playing the GBA version. Um, though the story does get told better through the Nintendo DS, but uh, in terms of actually story progression, I would say the GBA version had better gameplay. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with this game. The story is pretty long and obnoxious, especially the beginning of the intro. But uh, yeah, this is your boy Retro Boy World here. We are back with another Nintendo DS Let's Play. And uh, we have a couple of more coming out, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. I was going to play the 007 games, but damn near majority of them all don't work very well so we're gonna leave those alone and uh, i didn't really have a good time on 007 from the playstation one so i'm not a really big fan of 007 anymore but uh hey the movies are enjoyable So this plays around Rome and like the Caesar times where they had, you know, Capulets and all that and um, like Julius and all that times. I don't know what I'm talking about, but like around the area of Rome and stuff. Very Viking medieval-ish. And uh, yeah, this, uh, the series originated as just Asterix and then Obelix was a character added on later the series so um yeah obelix is doesn't really get a lot of attention since this is basically asterix but okay here we are and uh it's basically a side scroller platformer no different from astro boy as the Astro games usually are, unless you go for like the older like ColecoVision versions, those are different. Wow, wow! Can you hit them? Yeah, got too much range. So yeah, this game plays pretty cool. Um, it's interesting. I like the layout of it, the way the game plays out. Um, it's very different from the PlayStation 1 version of Asterix and Obelix. I think it was the Gothic War. Um, so, uh, I can't say which one's better. If you ask me, I think they're both pretty good. And this game is just brutal. This is a very brutal game. And uh, you get one-hit deaths. So, um, I mean, not one-hit deaths, but you get one chance to complete a level. And if you die, that's pretty much the game over. You got to restart. So, there are some cheap uh, moments in this game. You have to be really fast with enemies, too. You have to just bum rush them before they get a chance to attack you or do anything like that. Uh, but I really do like the 3D aspects, how they stretch out the visuals and uh, kind of make it seem like, you know, you're roaming around a whole 3D platformer. And it's cool. Uh, I think around the time this came out, um, I think I did my first Let's Play for Fairy Run. Got turn around. Gosh. Ah, oh, damn it. I try to run away from him. I don't know how many of these guys I got to fight, but... Ah! Oh! What in the fuck? This is going to be a long one. Grab your seatbelts.
Okay, there's a stun feature I wasn't aware of. I wish they uh <laughs> implemented that earlier. I'm pretty sure they did. I just didn't read the tutorial. I was being cocky and just want to play. And it's all good. We got this uh, covered. Now we can take down these guys, no problem. Well, that's not fair. He was. Ah. Oh, damn it. Fucking A. I just gotta keep them consistent, like one after another. And uh, it should be able to, you should just be able to work that out. This is actually interesting. What is this? Slot machine, gambling systems. That really wasn't implemented in the, the GBA version. That's cool. We got uh we got some uh, let's plays coming out like some RPGs and stuff. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Touch the amount you want to bet. I want to bet fifty. I want three Borhams. Okay, that's cool. We get a gamble. Go again. Oh, it's cool. It's a three D figurine gallery. That's nice. Um, can I bet even more? Hello. Take me back. I want to bet more. Take me back. Hold on. It doesn't look like it'll let me bet anymore. All right. Ran out of bets. That's fine. Let's continue on. And uh, yeah, some platforming. Not bad. It's pretty smooth. I kind of say that I, I was expecting the platforming to be a little bit more janky. But uh, hey, it's, it's it's actually hanging in there. I mean, this could have been a Bubsy feel, you know. Uh, let's bet 20. For some reason, it won't let me bet. I guess. I guess. So what are these doors? We'll just leave them alone since there's literally nothing we can do with them. It's a foolproof locking system. When you come in from the portion. Uh, so was telling us we got to backtrack. Fuck happened. Why does it keep kicking us out? I'm confused. I was about to say that shit broken. <laughs> that shit, it would just like manually stick me right back out the door like what was the point of that knock your fucking bitch ass out of here okay let's go ahead and uh, this game gives me the alien addicts feel too i ain't gonna lie i've pretty much just been playing mostly platformers i mean for the nintendo ds so no be expecting some fan favorites Using the machine, you can fly. So we can use this. We first have to find something, though. 
There you go. So now we can fly. So that's one door lit. So we gotta slowly do this one by one. Yeah, graphics are medium sized. I mean, I've seen worse. The GBA, uh, this isn't bad. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, but ah, ah, oh, but jump. <laughs> Knocked his ass off the screen. <laughs> I said his I said his ass flying. That's funny. That's some funny that's some funny uh um physics there. That's funny. It works. I so hate these stages. They're just so I'm just gonna get past this part just by jumping on their heads. Why not? I'm guessing that's what this power up was used for. Oh, Oh, don't tell me that this is the beginning of the stage again. Ah, oh, fuck. Boom, 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 <laughs> a boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty satisfying. No cat. Boom, boom, uh oh, boom, uh oh, boom. Hold up, boom, boom. Boom, 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 oh shit, boom, 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 oh, boom, 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 ah, fuck, boom, boom, ah, fuck, get up, boom, 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 why isn't he stunned? Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Asterisk and Obelix uh, Double XL 2, and uh, we will be back with more Nintendo DS Let's Plays.